on a corridor wall the marks of a massacre. These are the rooms where 132 children and nine teachers died. Six Taliban attackers showed no mercy and they took three hours. In the auditorium, they set a teacher on fire on stage with the students watching. They're the victims, the government is the target. But today, the Prime Minister didn't alter his crackdown on the Taliban. Instead, he reinstated the death penalty. He said he'd continue to fight terrorism till the last terrorist is eliminated. Survivors in hospital are often still in their uniforms. Their accounts are simple and horrifying. Six men entered and opened fire, he says. Some children died on the spot, some were injured, then we fled. The same uniform, but a different fate. This is one of the first pictures to emerge of the victims. Across the city of Peshawar, this is happening over and over. Parents burying their children. And these are the men responsible, says the Pakistani Taliban. They've released this image, six men posing with weapons. One of the splinter groups from the Taliban has, has declared allegiance to IS. So you've got this sort of splintering and I think security experts overall say, say that that kind of splintering of terrorist groups often leads to more and more extreme acts of violence as different splinter groups try to assert themselves as the most powerful, as the most brutal, um, as the most effective. Prime Minister's promise to end terrorism in Pakistan will be hard to achieve. Outside the school tonight, mourners are doing what they can, quietly remembering. So as we have